Hey, welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. My name is Troy. This is my broken D1. And instead of fixing it correctly, I bought a bunch of parts. So two boxes showed up from Lucky 8. I'm not sure what the second one is, but I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Um, if you remember from other videos, I have a D1 with a snorkel hole and no snorkel. And I thought it would be a better idea instead of finding another green fender to spend 300 and some dollars on a snorkel to make it snorkelable, snorkeled, to snorkel it, to put install a snorkel. Now I've never owned a vehicle with a snorkel because I've never owned a vehicle with a snorkel hole. Uh, obviously it's a petrol gas powered truck. So I don't know, a snorkel's not gonna be super useful. They're also not super watertight. I think the correct term would be extended air breather, right? For dust in Virginia where it's cold. But I'm an adult and I can do what I want, so I purchased this Down Under Safari Snorkel. So it's not the one that runs down the side of the fender, it's the one that comes directly up and out as the hose runs through the fender well. So we are going to unbox this and see what's involved with slapping it in a truck. Because no one buys these. Everyone buys, I think, the cheaper Safari Snorkel, the one that goes down the side there, so. This is the more expensive, probably the less useful model. Hole, hole meat snorkel. Snorkel meat hole. Will it fit? Okay, I feel uh, I feel vindicated now. So here's here's the bits and bobs that came with it. I've got one metal end for the actual metal pit bits, which seem okay. I don't know if this is sealed in any sort of fashion, but again, remember I gave a hole in my truck. I've got this uh, piece of Home Depot shielding, I'm assuming that runs in the fender. We've got some hose clamps because yes, sure. Um, the little breather bits and the rubber bit that probably goes into the, uh, the air filter itself. And boom, just like that, it's all done. I could just run it like that. Nobody would know. It, would it really matter? Probably not. So yeah, I paid $350 for this uh, little insert here that, wow, they didn't even make it fit right. So I'm still gonna have a hole. That's still gonna create a hole for water to pour into the fender of my truck in, so yeah. But no, I'm, I'm not gonna stop there. We're, we're gonna actually install it, so let's, uh, let's get into that. All right, so the plan here, and it's pretty straightforward, is we're gonna struggle for about 10 or so minutes and then probably end up ripping the, uh, the outer mesh of this tube um, because it doesn't slide nice and perfectly down that way. I, I honestly, the issue is the wire for this little marker light that probably doesn't work is kind of blocking my easy passage uh, to the front. So I'm gonna mess with this and get upset and get angry and break things for a few minutes and then I'll check back once it's complete. Yes, 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 yes. So we got hosey bits here. We got hosey bits there. So when you're doing this, uh, you want to pull the <clears throat> you want to pull the um, blinker, uh, the side indicator. That'll really help get this out um, and pull it through like that. Uh, you also want to pull this side marker plug because that prevents it from sliding nicely through the fender wheel. So now we're here, and I can see all my wonderful power steering leaks. It just needs to be cinched up. It's fine, you know. Yeah, that. Could just need to be tightened. Could just be a loosey goosey. Who knows? It's probably not. It's probably something more than that. Nope, probably not that easy. Um, okay, so now we have to go to part two. Run flexible hose halfway down wing cavity and join to filter ass with adapter. All right, so I got that routed and in. That's not how it's supposed to look. My airbox, the like the flute part was broken off, so a very small you know, area to grab onto. I need another hose clamp. I don't have one big enough. So that's just gonna be like that for now. Um, next thing, I'm just gonna button this back up. I am painting, or I painted the two clamp pieces that go on the A-pillar, waiting for those to dry. And then we get this clamped up and we'll be done for the most part. You have to, you gotta <coughs> self-tap screw these in as well um, on the side pillar. So yeah, 
that's fine all right so i forgot to uh film the end of the video where i have the final product and i'm not gonna actually say it's the final product that'd be doing my diy skills some disjustice but it is installed is bolted on there that was a pain in the ass to get in because this clamp was very tight um i drove it it drives fine this still needs to get um secured like with some you know something sticky to make that more everything tight because right now it's nothing tight um so that'll be a problem for another day uh, and also have to looks like that kind of came out of alignment but yeah that's how you install the south down snorkel on a uh on a d1 i'll drive it around for a little bit see if it changed anything performance wise but i seriously doubt it it's really i really just spent money to plug a hole that's what life's all about right so uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Uh, just a quick DIY video. Didn't really see one on the internet, so I figured I'd plug one in. Uh, please like, subscribe, and follow along for more on all my crappy rovers and endeavors in Richmond, Virginia. I, it's you know, this is this is gonna be a death me, right, Max? What do you think? Do you like this? It's kind of chilly out here, buddy. All right, see y'all.